gentlemen, welcome to the 2018 spring commencement of the University of Northern Iowa. Please rise for the graduating students.
heads of the academic departments. of the University of Northern Iowa, Mark A. Nook, and the Platform Party. Ladies and gentlemen, I bid you welcome to the spring 2018 commencement exercises of the University of Northern Iowa, which will now be in order. Please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem by Dr. John Hines, professor of voice from the School of Music. The colors will be presented by the University of Northern Iowa ROTC Honor Guard. Oh, 
Please be seated. At this time, at this time, I have the honor of introducing the members of the platform party. All those introduced should please remain standing until the introductions have been completed and I ask that applause be withheld until all have been introduced. Dr. Mark Nook, President of the University of Northern Iowa. Nancy Jane Price, Special Guest. Dr. James Wolpart, Provost and Executive Vice President. Dr. Michael Hager, Senior Vice President for Finance and Operations. Dr. Paula Knudsen, Vice President for Student Affairs. Dr. Patrick Pease, Associate Provost for Academic Affairs and Interim Dean of the Graduate College. Dr. John Fritch, Dean of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences. Mr. Christopher Cox, Dean of Library Services. Dr. Tim Kidd, Chair of the University Faculty and Professor of Physics. Ms. Greta Berghammer, Professor, Department of Theater. Ms. Megan Stoll, Chair of the UNI Alumni Association, Board of Directors. Mr. Jamal White, President, Northern Iowa Student Government. Ms. Megan Gray, Graduate, Masters of Music. And Mr. Avery Johnson, Student Speaker and Candidate for the Bachelor of Arts degree in English. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the President of the University of Northern Iowa, Dr. Mark Nook. Thank you very, very much. Distinguished platform party and special guests, Nancy Price, faculty, staff, members of the families and friends of our soon-to-be graduates, and especially our soon-to-be graduates. Welcome to the 2008 commencement exercises for the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences. It's great to be at this point. Graduates, congratulations. You've put in a lot of hard work. It's great to see you at this point. It was wonderful to meet you in the hallway. And thank you for everything you've done for our university. I want to take a moment and say thank you to our faculty and staff. These students wouldn't be here celebrating this great educational goal achievement if it wasn't for the dedication of especially our faculty and the time they've spent with you in the classroom and the time of our staff, many of which have spent countless hours with you outside of the classroom in residence halls and libraries and study sessions. So to our faculty and staff, 
thank you for the commitment you have made to these graduates. Also, yeah, thank you. I also want to take a moment to say thank you to the marshals who are working today that have helped all of you get here this morning, helped get all of us arranged and into this wonderful auditorium. Marshals, thank you for your service to our university, but especially to these commencement exercises. Today, graduates, we're celebrating your, one of your big goals, reaching this commencement exercise and the education that it, it uh, represents. At the University of Northern Iowa, we pride ourselves on helping everybody reach three goals, their educational goals, their professional goals, and their personal life goals. Today, we are celebrating the attainment of at least one of those educational goals for you, the completion of this degree and the earning of this great education. We hope that they're a wonderful springboard to your future and to meeting those professional and personal life goals. So thank you very much. Today, you will also notice amongst our graduates that several of them are wearing red and white and blue honor cords. I'd like those individuals wearing the red, white, and blue honor cords to please stand. These individuals are individuals who either are veterans of military service, are currently serving in the military, or will serve immediately after graduation. Thank you for your service to our country. Thank you. I know that many of our graduates, family and friends, are also veterans or current members of the military. So if you are a veteran of the U.S. military or currently serving, would you please stand and let us recognize you as well? Thank you for ser your service to the United States in protecting the freedoms that we all share. Thank you. We now proceed to the recognition and award of honors. Dr. James Wolpart, Executive Vice President and Provost of the University, will recognize those candidates honored for their superior record and scholarship. Provost Wolpart. Ladies and gentlemen, you may have noticed that some of our candidates today are wearing bronze medallions. This medallion indicates these students are graduating with summa cum laude honors, which means that they have achieved an academic level which places them in the top 3% of their academic graduating class. The university is very proud to recognize these candidates at this time. Would the summa cum laude candidates please rise so that we may recognize and honor you? Thank you. Students graduating with magna cum laude honors have earned a grade point average, placing them in the top 4 to 8 percent of those students graduating from their academic college. And they are wearing purple honor cords. Will the magna cum laude candidates please rise so that we may recognize and honor you? Thank you. Students graduating cum laude have earned a grade point average, placing them in the top 9 to 15 percent of those students graduating from their academic college, and they are wearing gold honor cords. Will the cum laude candidates please rise so that we may recognize and honor you? Thank you. At these exercises, it has become our pleasant custom to ask a member of the graduating class 
to deliver an address to their fellow students. Dr. John Fritsch, Dean of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences, will introduce this year's speaker. Dr. Fritsch. President Nook. Avery Johnson is our commencement speaker this evening. Avery has compiled an impressive resume in his time at the University of Northern Iowa. Avery is graduating with a Bachelor of Arts degree in English and a minor in creative writing. Avery has held many important positions on our campus and he lists them on his resume. They include, in his junior year, Avery served as the UNI student body vice president. As a student, he worked in UNI career services where he provided guidance to fellow students in the job search process. And we hope it works for you as well, Avery. As a student, he was also a member of the Sigma Phi Epsilon fraternity. And Avery has been an important part of our student recruitment and retention efforts at the university. He served as the summer orientation staff and also was a member of SAA, the Student Admissions Ambassadors. And he served as president of that organization. Avery, congratulations. Thank you, Dean Fritsch, for the thoughtful introduction. President Nook, members of the platform party, faculty, staff, graduates, and guests, it is an honor and privilege to speak to you today. First, I want to say a few thank yous to people I wouldn't be here without. Thank you to my friends and family, especially my parents, for supporting me on this journey. I am so grateful to have your support in everything. Thank you to my professors for providing me with an education I am confident in. Thank you to my advisors and mentors for your guidance, chats, and friendship. And lastly, thank you to the commencement committee for organizing this ceremony. Your hard work to give us a platform to recognize our achievements is greatly appreciated. As Dean Fritsch mentioned, you and I has really helped me build my resume these past four years. And I know that each of you can say the same. I know this because I recently finished working in career services and there's a good chance that I may have seen your resume or maybe I gave you a mock interview. Through this, I have seen the amazing work you have all put in, in all areas. Now I know you're well aware of these experiences. You reflected on them during job searches, you put them on internship applications, and you talked about them in interviews. You've gained a lot of valuable lessons from these resume-worthy experiences, and that's great. But I want to take, to to take this time to recognize the other experiences that we don't talk about as much. These are what I call our unsung accomplishments. On a one-page resume, two pages for education majors, we don't have room to fit all of the experiences and opportunities that make us who we are. It's clear that a one or two-page document doesn't define us, but when we don't include our unsung accomplishments, it's easy to forget the small things that we've experienced, accomplished, and discovered. Truthfully, if we take the time to reflect, our unsung accomplishments can teach us just as many life lessons as our big, resume-worthy experiences. But what does this look like? What would you include on your life resume? To help illustrate this, I'll give you a few examples, along with lessons they demonstrate, so you can write out your life resume. Now, I'm imagining that a life resume is just like a normal resume, except that it includes everything. So, on our life resumes, we would have headings, just like a normal resume, and I would label the first heading as people. Under mine, I would include that during my time at UNI, I supported a friend playing in a three-hour jazz concert. I studied at Cup of Joe and chatted at Sidecar. I went to some assembly required improv shows. I got terribly sick and a friend went out of their way to bring me chicken noodle soup. I got involved in my church. I tried to be a matchmaker for my friends, but I'm no hitch. I had one-on-ones -on with my professors and advisors, and most importantly, I developed great relationships and made lifelong friends. The first lesson is this, everything is better with people. I can trace each unsung accomplishment back to the people I did it with, whether people were supporting me, like when I got sick, or I was supporting them, like when I went to that jazz concert, or you're doing something together. It's always better with people. So make sure that you connect with the people around you. If you're present with them, the experience will be 10 times better. All right, the next heading on our life resume is leaving the comfort zone. On mine, I would include that in my first class at UNI, I became a certified scuba diver. 
I got second place in a poetry slam. During an open casting night at the ITC, I metal casted an aluminum rooster. I presented at a conference and won a case study. And I studied abroad and stayed an extra week in Northern Ireland. The second lesson is that you need to continue to be intentional about getting out of your comfort zone. You're probably thinking, come on, we're college students. We have this down by now. But pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone doesn't stop after college. If you want to live up to your full potential, you have to keep putting yourself out there. The more you leave your comfort zone, the bigger it becomes. If you want to be comfortable skydiving, you have to jump out of a plane at least once. And the next time you do it, you're going to be a little bit more comfortable with it. At least, I hope that's the case. I have yet to try it. Every time you leave your comfort zone, there is always a chance to learn. And that chance to learn and grow is worth it. For the final section of my life resume, I would include a heading called Discovered Passions. In this section, I included that I joined Greek life, something I never thought I would do. I changed my minor to creative writing. I wrote poems and short stories that won writing awards. I mentored friends and supported them however I could. I discovered Poncheros for the first time. You can all relate. I learned how to longboard and how to play racquetball. I got injured doing both, but that's beside the point. The point is, I became passionate about these things without ever really expecting to, even Poncheros. And as passions, they all become bits and pieces that make up my identity, even Poncheros. Now, this last lesson is a well-kept secret, but I'm going to share it. I have good reason to believe, and these people up here behind me might be able to confirm this, but I believe that our search for identity doesn't stop after we leave college. We need to continue to search, and we do this by discovering our passions and practicing them. So there you have it, an example of a life resume. And I'm sure that you have just as many unsung accomplishments that you can include on yours. They range from the activities listed in our traditions challenge to events that we might overlook. They include our passions and our bucket list items. Altogether, our unsung accomplishments make us who we are, and they have a lot to teach us. After graduation, I hope that you will all join me in applying these lessons. Be intentional and present with the people around you. Continue to push yourself out of your comfort zone and take the time to practice your passions and reflect on your identity. It's been a pleasure, class of 2018. I wish you each the best in your future endeavors. Now go out there and never stop learning. Thank you very much, Avery, for that wonderful, wonderful address and for reminding us all to step out of our comfort zone. I guess I'm going to do that next and go find Pancheros. So thanks very much, Avery. <laughs> this year, the University of Northern Iowa is privileged to bestow the 31st honorary degree to be given in the university's history. The distinguished recipient of this degree will be presented to President Nook by Dr. John Fritch, Dean of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences. Will Nancy Jane Price please come forward? Mr. President, I am honored to present to you Nancy Jane Price. Nancy Jane Price has a unique storied connection to our university. She spans the three names of our institution. When we were Iowa State Teachers College, she lived in the President's House. Her father, Dr. Malcolm Price, became the fourth president of Iowa State Teachers College when Nancy was 15. She attended the college's campus school, then in Sabin Hall, for her junior and senior years. She then attended Cornell College, earning a bachelor's degree in English and art. In 1945, she married Navy Lieutenant Howard Thompson in the President's House. We believe that is the only wedding to have occurred in the President's House. Following World War II, the couple moved to Boston and returned to Cedar Falls in 1955 when Dr. Thompson joined the Iowa State Teachers College History Department. Nancy Price was and is a parent of a in, apparent in Cedar Falls. 
Nancy nurtured her three young children in the 1950s. In their home, she painted huge wall murals of Paris and Rome and began writing. When we were at the State College of Iowa, Nancy was a student. In 1956, she enrolled in poet James Hurst's writing class. Hurst encouraged her to send her poems to national publications. Her master's degree in English in 1964 was submitted to the famous Writers' Workshop in Iowa City. Throughout the 1960s, her works began to appear regularly in national publications, including The Atlantic, Harper's Bazaar, The Nation, The Ladies' Home Journal, The New York Times, America, The Horn Book, The Virginia Quarterly Review, and The Quarterly Review of Literature. When we were the University of Northern Iowa, Nancy Price was a faculty member. She joined the UNI Department of English, Language, and Literature in 1980 as a tenured full professor. For many years, she taught creative writing and often opened her home to classes. As a faculty member, and then after retirement, Nancy Price became a prolific author. To date, Nancy has published 10 novels and a collection of poems. Her third and best known novel, Sleeping with the Enemy, graced both national and international bestseller lists. It has been translated into more than 20 languages. The movie adaptation of the novel, which starred Julia Roberts, opened as the number one film in the nation on its February 1991 premiere and was the fourth highest grossing film of that year. As an author, Nancy Price has been ahead of her time. In 1987, the term domestic abuse had not yet entered the national conversation. And indeed, the phrase sleeping with the enemy has become part of our lexicon. Seven of her novels have major settings in Cedar Falls. Her most recent novel, Three at the Door, is set in and around Searley Park, with a key scene taking place under our own campanile. Nancy Price has received countless awards and accolades, including the Poetry Society Award, uh, the Poetry Society of America Award, the Crowley Foundation Writer in Residence, the Rockefeller Foundation Resident Scholar, and the Tyrone Guthrie Center Resident Scholar. Nancy Price has been an important part of our community and our institution. She has been an exemplary citizen, parent, student, faculty member, and author. On behalf of the faculty of the University of Northern Iowa, I commend her to you for awarding the degree of Honorary Doctor of Literature, Honoris Causa. Thank you, Dean Fritsch. By virtue of the authority granted by the State of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them delegated to me, it is with great pleasure that I confer to you, Nancy Jane Price, the honorary degree of Doctorate of Literature Honoris Causa, with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. While all of us are while all of us are proud and excited to see our graduates cross the stage today and receive their diplomas, we respectfully ask that you refrain from using air horns and other celebratory instruments during the ceremony. As your graduate crosses the stage, please quickly conclude your applause so that the audience can hear the name of the next candidate. We appreciate that. Dr. Pease will now present the candidates for the master's degrees from the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences. Those candidates will please rise. Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor to present to you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled the requirements for their respective degrees. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of those degrees. By virtue of granted by the State of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them de delegated to me, 
I hereby grant to each of you, as appropriate and qualified, the degree of Master of Arts, Masters of Science, Master of Music, or Professional Science Masters with all rights and privileges pertaining thereto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. The graduates will now be individually recognized. Ms. Greta Berghammer, professor in the Department of Theater, will read the names of the graduates. Graduates will be greeted by the dean, department heads, and faculty members as they leave the stage. Mariah Ahajanova. Polly Alfano. Majed Turkey Alhartai. Courtney Ellen Amundsen. Ashley Ann Atkinson. Christopher Lee Barber. Kelsey Ann Boffman. Caitlin Maureen Becker. Aaron Joseph Brummel. Amy Lois Buccifero. Dana Annette Henderson Berger. Naima Safia Burrs. Anthony Joseph Cassidy. Grace Sarah Chelsvig. Lisa Joy Derringer. Hannah Diane DeBrian. Danielle Dickinson. Michelle Dickinson Coleman. Anders Davig Dubry. John Anthony Dutcher. Callan Nicole Ellen Becker. Olivia Nicole Ferguson. Cameron Chichester Gale. Moriah K. Henkelman. Ariel Dominique Lene Irvine. Haley Marie Jacobson. Megan Lee Jordan. Joseph Wayne Cadlick. James Matthew Keene. Jenna Marie Eckland Klein. Elizabeth Ann Kosmicki. Searing K. Jennifer Regina Lagarde. Nicole Linnaeus. Leah May Lensing. Nicholas John Leo. Pranara Lojai. Casey Ann Lynch. Sarah Nicole Morales. Rana Hatem Mustafa. Deneen Marie Nelson. Melitza Dzizic. Lannan Colleen Noble. Taylor Francis Ort. Mariah Nicole Otto. Molly Elizabeth Pettit. Christopher Richard Phelan. Nicole Marie Pofen. Casey Lynn Prehoda. Mackenzie Marina Ryder. Haley Marie Rusk. Kristen Elizabeth Santero. Amanda Ray Schiller. Kimberly Ann Schiltz. 
JC Joe Schneider, Emily Suzanne Secor, Abigail Christine Shu, Casey Joe Smith, Jordan Deanna Steerwalt, Mirishahi Sula, Kaylee Ray Terrell, Molly Ray Tinty, Rebecca Weaver, Lauren Vaughn Welser, Ross Matthew Westemeyer, Kip Woods, Bailey Jean Wright, Chandler Sue Yokely, Sarah Elizabeth Quinnell, Laura Lee Sabota, Logan Scott Vanderweel, Megan Esther Gray, Jason Allen Schultz, Danusha Manohar, Varvara Corkina, At this time, the provost of the university, Dr. Jim Wolpart, will now present the candidates for the bachelor's degree from their respective units. The audience will find the disciplines of study in the college listed in your commencement program. Will the candidates for the bachelor's degree please rise? Mr. President, on behalf of the faculty of the university, I have the honor to present to you these candidates who have successfully fulfilled the requirements for the respective bachelor's degree. I am pleased to commend them to you for the awarding of those degrees. Thank you, Provost Walpert. By virtue of the authority granted by the state of Iowa to the State Board of Regents and by them delegated to me, I hereby grant to each of you as appropriate and as qualified the degrees of Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Music, or Bachelor of Science with all the rights and privileges pertaining thereto. I now pronounce you graduates of the University of Northern Iowa. You may move your tassel. Please be seated. We will now individually recognize the graduates. Ms. Greta Berghammer will read the names of the graduates. Names will be read in alphabetical order within each major. Graduates will be congratulated by the dean, department heads, and faculty members as they leave the stage. Graduates of the College of Humanities, Arts, and Sciences from the Department of Art, Eden Marie Bell.
Alisa Catherine Bailo. Allison Ray Bogart. Emily Catherine Brown. Hannah Marie Cavanaugh. Erin Nicole Cullison. Rachel Kernan Engelman. Jordan Lee Goldbeck. Amberly Habhab. Meredith R. Ham. John Mean Hernandez. Dakota Jepson. Riley Ann Lawrence. Madison Page Luke. Austin McDonald. Allison North. Sawyer Joel Phillips. Leah Marie Plath. Maris Ann Price. Miranda Lynn Richman. Jillian Elizabeth Maureen Sanders. Rachel Danae Smith. Amy Wright. Cheyenne Susan Newman. Heidi Marie Schmidt. Matthew Joseph Bissa. Jennifer Rose Newman. Shade Shani Butler. Dylan Eigenberger. From the Department of Biology, Haley Nicole Andreessen. Allison Nicole Bitter. Sarah Elizabeth Bohr. Sarah is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of anthropology. Neil Richard Kaler. Courtney Ann Caton. Kyle Allen Chaska. Rumina Chufarovich. Kirby Ann Davis. Melissa Lynn Derman. Caitlin Joy England. Colby Catherine Erickson. Austin Ertham. Ellen Renee Fellers. Heather Nicole Finch. Adam Gary Duane Fox. Griffin Kyle Gick. Jacob Allen Grave. Kent Michael Hall. Megan June Hirsch. Diana Hope Huseman. Samantha Ann Jericho. Haley Genevieve Kearns. Olivia A. Knowles. Amanda Nicole Koenig. Matthew Daniel Koenig. Elizabeth Dawn Lash. Michael James Lashbrook. David Lynn. Alexis Marie Lovick. Jonathan Michael Lucan. Lindsay Ray Mason. Emily Ann Matthews. Kylie Jolene McCann. Heidi Nicole Myshied. Samantha Joanne Nicholson. Amel Nuhanovic. Caleb E. Olson. Brandon Robert Patton. Bethany Dawn Peterson. Lulua Nadia Rawas. Allison Rose Sandbolt. Kristen 
Jacob Sanford, Andrew Galen Schriever, Sarah Suzanne Schroeder, Ellie K. Smith, Amira Tahir, Jacob Daniel Walter, Adam Wayne Wyden, Mitchell Scott Schlumbum, Am Emily Ann Dalee, Amanda Twithian Lee, Jeremy David March. From the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry, Madison Marie Flesch. Lopsang Dalkar Gorung. Julia Marie Hagen. Trey Jacob Hickey. Gisela Kemper. Dimitro Kravchuk. Dimitro is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of chemistry. Claire Elizabeth Lubenthal. Aha. Uh -huh. It's okay. Emma Margaret Lipman. Courtney Lauren Massey. Taruka Deshawn Patmaparuma. Catherine Ann Pop Plotsky. Megan Michelle Schmidt. Megan is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of biology. Emma Ray Shipley. Tyler Leo Aiton. Kayla Sue Waddle. From the Department of Communication Sciences and Disorders, Gafran Alia Radi. Alexi Brianne Alt. Zara Mansour Al Zayer. Zoe Nicole Angus. Corey Renee. Osman, Catherine Bergen, Lindsay Sue Black, Emily Ruth Brandt, Sydney Carol Brotherton, Hannah Jean Brummel, Rachel Marie Bullock, Mackenzie K. Bush. Adeline Patricia Crawford. Paige Dannenfelt. Brittany Lynn Davis. Maggie Ann English. Amber Rose Hagen. Taylor Marie Hagen. Michaela Dion Hance. Emily Renee. Hart, Bailey Elizabeth Hikins, Sydney Rose Hoffman, Kinsey Lynn Jurgens, Taylor Jean Kruger, Callie Jean Lawson, Lauren Jill Lisi, Sarah Elizabeth Leonard. Paige Jocelyn Lick. Paige is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of communicative sciences and disorders. Jessica Rose Link. Elsa Carey Martins. Jordan Lynn Meyer. Mandy Sue Miles. Madison Ann Miller, Kimberly Diane Moothart, Abby Marie Murphy, Genevieve Joe Pitts, Morgan Maureen Powers, 
Casey Ann Schreck. Paige Michelle Van Dyke. Reagan Renee Zolman. From the Department of Communication Studies, Casey Lucille Albee. Casey is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for conspicuous achievement in the area of journalism. Ahmed Alawi Al-Subaya. Humjan <laughs> Oyong. Rachel Ann Becker. Tristan Timothy Bennett. Tristan is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for conspicuous achievement in the area of electronic media. Brooke Isabel Bettis. Emily Beth Bittner. Bryn Elise Boyke. Logan Ray Buckley. William LaKendrick Burt. Brianna Nicole Boozman. Colin Patrick Cahill. Jonathan Mitchell Carpenter. Claire Elizabeth Collins. Kyle Andrew Kugler. Kylie Ann Kopic. Abigail Nicole Cornette. Paige Marie Cowing. Samantha Maureen Christ. Caitlin Rose Daisy. Nicole Lee Davis. Brandon Cole DiDio. Logan Mark Deloey. Marcus Andrew Draffen. Michael Thomas Duty. Erica Jean Fernandez. Carlos Andres Fernandez Soto. Jessica Ann Field. Taryn Ashley Fischels. Jacqueline Grace Linspaw. John Miles Folgerson. Nicholas Todd Frazier. Megan Marie Hahn. Ashlyn Jane Hazel. Ashton is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of communication studies. Hannah Marie Happy Hermanson. Jalen Merrill Hogue. Alexandra Josephine Holtz. Taylor Sue Horvadich. Alexander Jordan Hudspeth. Zachariah Logan Huntley. Will David Jarville. Danielle Ray Judd. Kayla Sue Kearns. Brandon Conway Cruz. Ashlyn Elizabeth Cullen. Marshall James Lamb. Rachel Mariah Larson. Tierney Marie Lensing. Michaela Ann Lean. Emily Ruby Irene Malcolm. Megan Lee McDermott. Grace Marie McNamara. Annie Lauren Merritt. Meredith Mariah Miller. Justin Michael Moody. Zoe Elizabeth Nainke. Savannah Marie Necker. Olivia Louise Novak. Rebecca Irene Novak. Michaela Renee Ayler. Aaron Michael Olson. Shay Jana O'Malley. Courtney Rose Ott. 
Adam Christopher Pesha, Taylor Ann Peterson, Trevor Nicholas Brehans, Kaiten Thomas Rader, Shailen Nadine Setoff, Kaun San, Alexis Paige Sheriffenkamp, Timothy John Sheevy, Brianna K. Marie Scobie, Carrie Lynn Smith, Haley Nicole Springer, Madison Renee Steffen, Seth Douglas Stetzel, Leslie Vaughn Taylor, Megan Nicole Thompson, Connor Mitchell Thorson, Clara Marie Tozy, Julie Renee Tucker, Jacob Benjamin Van Essen, Aaron Curtis Van Manen, Nicole Crystal Villarreal, Mitchell Lee Veru, Meredith Clay Wallerick, Molly Walliser, Michael Williams, Anna Catherine Wilson, Mitchell Kevin Bryson, Ashley Hope O'Brien, Brendan Marcel Benson, Clinton Leonard Ososki. Clinton is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of electronic media. Shechang Zhao. Olivia Grace Yatsi. Parker Thomas Hipsch. From the Department of Computer Science, Daniel Rafael Alonso, Cortland Daniel Bainbridge, Jonathan Scott Beck, Jacob Alexander Campbell, Nico Owen Cilindro, Marcus Robert Devens, Jonathan Edward Francis, Jonathan Isaac Mead, Aaron John O'Brien, COVID William Oswald, Seth James Schneider, Hannah Christian Thompson, Kanduru Harsha Vardana Varma, from the Department of Earth and Environmental Sciences, Kira Norris Baker, Kayla May Beck, Ryan Alexander Butcher, Tyler Eric Dursky, Benjamin Todd Gavin, Emily Maxine Huntington, Elizabeth Rose Kelly, Candice Christine Kucher, Riley J. McMorrin, Chad Anthony Oldhoff, Nolan M. Sagan, Tyler William Schley. Tyler is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of environmental science. Allison Marie Standeffer. Edward Ross Todd, Kyle Layton Trilke. From the Department of Languages and Literatures, Devin Elizabeth Alby, Tarina Ariane Alt, Emily Suzanne Anderson, Allison Nicole Bailey, Tracy Baker, Paige Elizabeth Berg, 
Andrew Dennis Branstad, Taylor Joe Burlingham, Tia Marie Chafee, Mitchell Casey Christensen, Megan Renee Cleveland, Dana and Marie Council, Taylor Victoria Crandall, Anna Dobilovich, Joanna Colleen Ionson, Kristen Garcia Rincon, Alexandria Michelle Gonzalez, Sarah Jean Gorsny, Alyssa Marie Hankin. Alyssa is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of TESOL, Modern Languages. Jessica Joy Hansen. Natasha Marie Heister. Andrew Scott Hessenius. Jordan Matthew Huff. Connor Benjamin Falcon. Casey Jean Byers. Emily Marie Johangemeyer. Charles John Kendi. Sarah Kim Lake. Elaine Onju Leverton. Gabrielle Angel Lewis. Victoria Marie Litweiler. Colin David Maddox. Megan Therese McFadden. Jasmine Marie Myers. Kelly Renee Newell. Christian Alexander Ortiz. Madison K. Pike. Caleb Wesley Ray. Taylor Jean Rogers. Genevieve Dehi Rosenbaum. Paige Mackenzie Rosehart. Mohammed Amin Sunini. Paula Ann Schmidt. Samantha Grace Smith. Avery Vaughn Johnson. Madison Marie Stahl. Alberto Hans Svem. Seth Phil. Lyric Lynn Tracy. Emily Ray Upaw. Lauren Elizabeth Van Spybrook. Natalie Alexis Vernon. Melanie June Vickers. Bryce Lawrence Volk. Lillian May Wadding. Kelsey Rose White. Danielle Erica Wyckoff. Erin Noreen Hankemeyer. From the Department of Mathematics, Maria Christine Ahrens. Samantha Lucille Ancona. Riley James Christensen. Tessa Lise Cohen. Kevin Charles Conjur. Abigail Catherine Gedkin. Seth Franklin Harwood. Cameron G. Hertzler. Mualimu William Carissa. Perry Thomas Kessel. Destiny Taylor Lights. Dalton James Lilly. <laughs> Stephanie Faye Mace. Kayla Lynn Schaefbau. Grant Thomas Schiltz. Stacy Charlene Schmeling. Reginald Joseph Schulte. Erica Lee Schultz.
Sadie May Swank. Daniel Tarnow. Tyler David Vandenhall. Jake Allen Weber. Jake is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of mathematics. Zachary Aaron Humans. Carter Andrew Zier. From the Department of Philosophy and World Religions, Willie Rufus Beeman. Jacob Christian Bergman. Tyler J. Crawford. Ryan Russell Daisy. Ryan is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of study of religion. Wesley Malik Burnside. From the Department of Physics, Peyton William Birkin. Byron John Fritch. Byron is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of physics. Shasha Lu. Dallas Joseph McDonough. Robert Lewis Palandek. From the Department of Science and Science Teaching, Riley John Bukait. Katie Jean Sandman. Emily Ann Schechenbach. Matthew Philip Stein. Allison Tara Templeton. Jessica Marie Wayson. Jessica is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of all science teaching. Mallory Christine Wills. From the School of Music, Claudia Daniela Izega Chavez. Jessica Ann Bartholomew. Thomas Cody Carchado. Andrew Timothy Cutler. Casey Jean Dirksen Farr. Luke Andrew Fosselman. Ryan Lowell Garmo. Corin Frederick Huckey. Corin is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of music. Anna Lee Larson. Will Gray Luberoth. Michelle Renee Meadows. Jared Daniel Perkins. Lauren Renee Sokup. David John Tome. Mallory Amber Valentine. Mallory is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for conspicuous achievement in the area of music. Dawn Elizabeth Vickers. From the Department of Technology, Imad Ali El Jorani. Bailey Scott Abbott. Ali Saad Jour. Ali Jaisim Altiyayan. Mohammed Hussein El Thunayan. Daya Hussein El Dugani. Mohammed Ali Al Duwood. Hussam Mohammed Al Gamidi. Mordada Sali Al Hassan. Mohammed Omar Al Kamis. Musa Ali Amudari. Saif Suwelim Al Farashi. Ali Mansour El Zayar. Stephen David Faridin. Michael Robert Berkey. 
Riley Morgan Bernauer. Michael James Bonwell. Lane Nicholas Brewer. Adam Matthew Byrne. Brandon Hugh Childs. Joseph James Christensen. Spencer Jacob Clock. Clayton Ward Cudworth. Danielle Marie Dady. Andrew Wayne Dolly. Fraser C. Dew. Nicholas Clark Dighton. Andrew J. Fitzgerald. Corey Joseph Glass. Elizabeth Rayanne Godwin. Drew Nathan Hoppus. Tate Nicholas Illick. Christopher Jacob Janning. David Haramayo. Jessica Lee Kingston. Douglas John Hoyton. Therese Claire Kuhlman. Therese is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of art. Ethan James Lund. Michael Todd Madden. Andrew Michael McCauley. Alexander James Meek. Brian Joseph Neary. Matthew Lewis Nissen. Sarah Valleen Paris. William Tanner Purd. James Michael Rodemaker. James is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for meritorious achievement in the area of technology. Zachary Michael Renovardi. Corey Lane Reeves. Michael Ryer. Austin Kane Schmidt. Brandon Clark Schneider. Thomas George Schreiber. Jordan Terry Schwickerath. Colton Elliot Singbile. Alexander Thomas Stensland. Drew Madison Suggs. Daniel Joseph Thompson. Braden Joseph Watson. Jason Lloyd Wiebold. Ali Arube. Jordan Michael Taylor. Hold on a second. From the Department of Theater, Jacob Anthony Barnwell. Megan Koffel. Carly Eileen Glenn. Haley Ann Kent. Robin Ann Kime. Robin is the recipient of a Purple and Old Gold Award for conspicuous achievement in the area of theater. Madison Alexandria Kanak. Emily Irene Peck. Andrew Michael Schrader. Bethany Ray Tiegler. And Mallory L. Widmer. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, please welcome Dr. Tim Kidd, professor and chair of the faculty. Dr. Kidd teaches in the Department of Physics. Cheers for physics, huh? On behalf of the faculty, I would like to offer my congratulations to all of today's graduates. 
We are proud of your accomplishments. The degree you are receiving is from an institution that values the quality of your education, is invested in your experience as a student and alumni, and dedicated to providing quality faculty with diverse backgrounds to teach its students. Your diploma is a symbol of your academic success at the University of Northern Iowa. Display it with pride. We wish you continued success and best wishes for the future. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it is now my pleasure to introduce Mr. Jamal White, President of Northern Iowa Student Government. Thank you, Dr. Kidd. I am honored for the opportunity to speak in front of you all on one of the most celebratory days during your time at the University of Northern Iowa. It has been my distinct privilege to serve as the president of Northern Iowa Student Government and the student body and represent all of you across campus. When you leave the McLeod Center today, I encourage all of you to live your life to the fullest and make you and I proud while doing so. The faculty and staff, your parents and friends have helped you to attain the skills necessary to be successful as you develop your next journey. Your involvement at UNI will benefit you in your first job, graduate school, volunteer opportunities, and so far beyond that. Take what you have learned and be the difference. Enjoy today and congratulations on your accomplishments. Go Panthers. Now it is my pleasure to introduce Ms. Megan Stoll, Chair of the UNI Alumni Association Board of Directors. Thank you, Jamal. Greetings, distinguished guests, faculty, students, family, and friends. On behalf of the more than 115,000 alumni, I extend congratulations to you, members of the class of 2018. You have earned a degree from the University of Northern Iowa and should be very proud of this wonderful accomplishment. Your time here as a student was brief compared to what commences today. Your lifelong experience as an alum of this great institution. No matter how far away your career may take you, always know that the Alumni Association is your constant connection to UNI. I encourage you to become an engaged and involved Panther. Consider joining an alumni club, attending social events, or returning to Cedar Falls for homecoming. I also encourage you to stay in touch with the faculty and staff here at UNI. As a UNI graduate, your active participation in the life of the university will help you continue to develop personally, enhance the value of your degree, and help advance UNI to new heights. You are joining a family of more than 115,000 fellow graduates. At this time, I would like to ask all UNI alumni in the audience to please stand and applaud the newest members of our UNI alumni family. Again, my congratulations to you all. Thank you. This time I'd like to ask all of the 2018 graduates to please rise so that we may one last time publicly congratulate you. Congratulations. Thank you. You can take your seats again. It's great to have you among alums, our, our alumni, and remember to always remain Panther proud. 
I'd like to, at this time, ask a few people to stand. If you're the spouse of one of our graduates here tonight, would you please rise? All right, don't sit down yet. Stay up. If you're a child of one of our graduates here, would you please rise? All right, stay standing. If you're a parent of one of our graduates, would you please rise? If you're a grandparent of one of our alums, our graduates, would you please rise? If you are an aunt, an uncle, ne nephew, niece, cousin, or some other relative of one of our graduates, would you please rise? If you are an unrelated friend of one of our graduates, would you please rise? If I've done my homework right, the only people left to rise are our faculty. Would our faculty and staff please rise? Graduates, help me thank them for everything they've done to get you to this place. Thank you. You may be seated. Thanks, though. In honor of today's graduates, Please stand and join in the singing of the University of Northern Iowa alma mater. The words are found in the back of your program. Please stand. Please stand. The words to the alma mater are found in, your back, in the back of the program. Tonight, we will be led by recent graduate with a master's degree in music, Megan Gray, mezzo-soprano.
Thank you, Megan Gray. Can we give her a round of applause? One more time, for the final announcements, please be seated. Please direct your attention to the top of the McLeod Center to thank the UNI Symphonic Band and conductor Justin Mertz for our music this evening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that all graduates and audi audience members remain in place until after the President's party has exited the McLeod Center. At that time, all graduates and guests should exit up the stairs only. These commencement exercises being now completed, please rise for the processional recessional of the President's party. The spring commencement exercises of 2018 for the University of Northern Iowa are now adjourned. <laughs> <laughs>